And now at 530, South Florida is saying welcome back. U.S. borders are now open for international travelers who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Travelers from 33 countries, including Britain and most of Europe and China, have been banned from traveling to the U.S. for nearly 20 months. South Florida, as you know, is an international gateway for air travel. CBS 4's Joe Murray has been talking to passengers arriving here from abroad. She joins us live now from Miami International Airport. Joan. Yeah, the long wait is over. You could feel the energy in the airport today. So many people love coming to America and especially Miami. They are reunions nearly two years in the making. The U.S. has lifted the pandemic travel ban on international visitors from over 30 countries. And at Miami, international flights were arriving full. Kai Fries flew in from Frankfurt, Germany, his first trip in nearly 20 months. It's terrible because uh, we are very used to travel all around the world without any border. Martina Smith was waiting for her mother, balloons in hand. There was no end in sight. I mean, we didn't expect it, uh, uh, this to happen yet this year. But it's not hassle-free. International visitors have to show proof of vaccination and a recent negative COVID test. Luigi and Lorena Silva arrived at MIA from Brazil. Lots of documents to present and a lot of bureaucracy, but we are very glad to come. Brazil's COVID death rate exceeded half a million people, but the Silva say it is stabilizing. Only 300 deaths by, uh, each day in the whole country. International travel has been down at MIA, but with the travel ban lifted, there is a bit of a turnaround. We're, we're seeing passengers from uh, Brazil, uh, UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, from all, all, all over the world. And we have surpassed uh, LAX and JFK in numbers of international uh, passengers. And that translates to good news for the South Florida economy in terms of hotel bookings, restaurant revenue, and tourist attractions. Now, there are exceptions to this mandatory vaccine if you are under 18, although you still have to present a negative COVID test. And the U.S. is also not requiring the vaccination for countries with a low vaccination rate, including Haiti, Afghanistan, and Africa. At MIA Tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.